Good morning, I'm Jordan Thomas. Welcome to another edition of the Bolivar Bullet. Green Bay Packers standout and Dancing with the Stars champion Donald Driver is in town for his annual two-day football camp. We caught up with Driver and he told us about what he's doing in town. Well, we're trying to teach the kids the fundamentals of the game. Every kid out there thinks they can play the game, but they don't know, really know the basic fundamentals of football. So we're trying to teach them that as well as respect. You know, my biggest thing is always to teach kids respect out here because uh, that's sometimes what we lose. You know, I have young kids myself, and we want to make sure that they continue to have respect for their elders. What brings me back to Cleveland, Mississippi? What I have to say is, is, is my mother, my wife, my brothers, so, uh, and my father. You know, uh, they've been uh, going to Cleveland for a long time. They've always supported. And, you know, when I met my wife, I wanted to give her opportunity to, to give back to the community. And uh, what better way to give a football camp in her hometown? The Cleveland Volunteer Fire Department is a long standing tradition in town. We called up with Fire Inspector Gene Bishop and Fire Chief Brad Horton, and they gave us the scoop on being a firefighter and the fire department's most recognizable truck. And shortly after moving back, a good friend of mine approached me and asked me about joining the fire department. And that was in June of 2001. And uh, signed up and uh, enjoyed it ever since. As chief, uh, it's kind of all-encompassing. Uh, not only is it the tactical decisions and all at a, at a scene, either a fire or a rescue, but it's also administrative uh, type duties, uh, dealing with budgets and planning and uh, personnel issues. And uh, it's almost a full-time job on a volunteer basis. It takes quite a bit of time. I enjoy the giving back to the community. I love the camaraderie between the, the, the individuals, the, the membership. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to, uh, you know, to do something positive and good, help others. Uh, yeah, this is a, a 1940 International. It's an international chassis with an American of France fire truck body on it. The fire department bought it originally. It's been, always been in our inventory. Uh, we bought it originally, and we bought the chassis here in Cleveland at a local dealer, and we had the chassis. We had the chassis sent to uh, the fire truck manufacturer, and they, they put the, the fire truck on the chassis. And the city of Cleveland used the truck uh, as a frontline bumper for approximately 20 years, and I think they took it out sometime in the early 60s, took it out of their inventory in the 60s. Uh, the truck was painted by Denton Derry uh, at some point in time after it came out, and we used the trucks. And, the truck in parades. We'd, we'd put it in the Christmas parade. We'd use the truck in, uh, for taking kids on the ride at the nursery school and this and that. And a couple of years ago, our firefighters took it on themselves to restore it. And we took it apart, completely apart. Our fire chief and a number of, uh, of the firefighters completely disassembled it. We sandblasted it. And, Took it all the way down to the frame, painted the frame. We did a valve job on the engine. We did all, all new upholstery, all new glass. Redid all the woodwork in it, and uh, as you see it now, it's a, it's a nice, pretty truck, and it's on display here. Uh, we still use it in parades, and we still take the kids' rides. That's it for today's news. I'm Jordan Thomas. Tune in tomorrow for another edition of the Bolivar Bullet.